Module 4 Symptoms of Concussion There are various classification systems available for grading the severity of a concussion. Concussion can be divided into two levels of severity, simple and complex. When a person experiences symptoms of concussion for less than 15 minutes, then the concussion is graded as simple. When symptoms last longer than 15 minutes, or if there is any loss of consciousness, then the concussion is graded as complex. Regardless of the grade of concussion, the person should be removed from any sport or activity that places him or her at risk of additional injury. Vestibular signs and symptoms. The tiny hairs of the vestibular system are vulnerable to damage. These tiny hairs are involved in determining if we're standing straight. When a concussion occurs to the vestibular system, the person is likely to complain of dizziness. If there is a significant damage to the vestibular system, the person will feel sick in the stomach. Cerebral signs and symptoms. Damage to the cerebrum is characterized by problems with memory and confusion. Two types of memory problems can occur. The first is memory for events immediately preceding the injury. The person may not be able to tell you exactly what happened to cause the concussion. This is referred to as problems with retrograde memory. A more common memory problem is the inability to remember new information. To test this, the person is asked to repeat three unrelated nouns. For example, sky, apple and glove. Then the person is asked to spell the word world backwards. The person is then asked to repeat the three nouns. A person would normally have little difficulty with this simple memory task. Someone with difficulty remembering all three words is said to have difficulty with antrograd memory. Confusion is more of a subjective symptom and requires observation. The person will appear dazed or stunned. It is not unusual for the concussed individual to answer questions slowly. The person may complain of foggy thinking. The person may be unsteady in walking or unable to reach effectively. These are the most common signs and symptoms. Observations of these by teachers and classmates are very useful to the doctor. They are also useful in deciding if a person needs immediate medical attention. With the exception of headache, any one of these symptoms is sufficient to classify a concussion.